All right, guys, I'm going to be doing a video over uh, the central angles and angles involving chords and tangents of a circle lesson. Um, this is very similar to the first lesson with the um, ins uh, inscribed angles and central angles. So we're still working with central angles here. We also have the chord tangent angle property here as well. Um, so here's the, kind of the picture they gave us here. Um, we've got our circle with center T. We've got a couple lines going in there. We also have a line called a tangent. Now remember, a tangent line is a line that touches the circle but never actually goes inside the circle itself. So we have our tangent line, UW, kind of gracing the outside of that circle. Um, they've got some information here for us. They tell us that arc UV is 68 degrees. So from here, this arc to here, UV, okay, is 68 degrees, the arc is. All right, and we're going to find um, two different angles. We're going to find the central angle here, and we're going to find what we call the chord tangent angle. Um, so let's start with this first one here. It says we're going to find the measurement of UTV. So I'm going to highlight that for us, U. T and V. So you're going to ask yourself first, what type of angle is this? Um, some options we have here, it's either going to be a central angle, an inscribed angle, oops, all right, or it could be an angle made with a chord and tangent. So looking at here, I would call this one a central angle. Why I'm calling this one a central angle? Because the center point is in the center of it. You have to remember now, how does the central angle relate to the arc? They're the same. So that means this, this angle should be 68 degrees. Because central angles are the same as its arcs. All right, up next we have V, U, W. So V to U to W. All right, if I look at this one, I'm going to figure out which classification it is. I can automatically rule out a central angle, all right, because none of those points are at the center of our circle. So we either have an inscribed angle or we have a chord or tangent angle. I'm going to say this one with a chord and tangent because it's made up of a chord, UV, and a tangent line, UV. Now, the rule for chord tangent angles is the exact same as the inscribed angle. Do you remember how an inscribed angle relates to its arc? It's half of it. If you look here, the arc for this one is the arc that's inside of it. So the arc I see that's inside of this like blue little mouth here is UV. All right, so we're going to take 68 and we're going to divide it by 2. All right, 68 divided by 2 is 34 degrees. Awesome. All right, let's do another problem. All right, up here, same thing. We've got a nice tangent line here. We've got a chord KL. We've got two little radiuses there. All right, the information they give us here, this is the measurement of angle KJL is 48 degrees. KJL. So this angle in here is 48 degrees. All right, I would classify this one as a central angle because it's in the center of the circle there. All right, so let's see what the first problem we're going to be answering here is. It says, find the measurement of arc KL. So we're trying to figure out how many degrees is the arc from K to L. Now they only gave us this 48 degrees, so we have to use this somehow. So you have to remember, how does the central angle relate to its arc? They're the same. So that means that this arc is 48 degrees. Up next, we're going to find LKM. So L to K to M. We've got to figure out what type of angle is this. Is this going to be a central angle? No, because none of L, K, or M are in the inside of that circle. So we either have inscribed or the chord tangent. All right, it doesn't really matter which one you even classified as because they both do the same thing. How do they relate to the arc? They're half. So I'm going to take 40, I'm going to divide it by 2, and I get 20 four degrees. Hope this helps.